Welcome to Tutorials with Casey. Visit my blog at fairwindsteaching.com. Today's tutorial is on a Google extension called Move It. Go ahead to your Chrome Web Store, click on Extensions, and type Move It. This is created by the PE Geek. Go ahead and scroll down until you find Move It. It has two arrows to make the O in the word Move. Then go ahead and click Add to Chromebook in the corner. I've already downloaded it. It will go ahead up here and you'll notice that it's up here in my right hand side box. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and click on the Move It and a red simple box comes up. Here are your settings. You have two of them. How long you would like in between your Move It. I'm going to go ahead and set mine to five minutes. And if you want it on or off. So if you want it enabled, you have to have it checked. If you want to turn it off for the moment, you'll have to uncheck the box. I want to go ahead and activate it and that's all I have to do. What Move It does is while you're on an assignment or while your students are doing an assignment that is a little bit longer than usual, say you're on Dogo News and you're having them compare two articles. So maybe they're working for about 20 minutes at their desk. 20 minutes is very long for a student to be sitting at their desk. So what Move It does is allow them to get up and move around in between their work. So every five minutes, because that's what I have set it to, five minutes, a move it will pop up and lock the screen, asking the students to do something to get up out of their seat or to get their eyes off the screen to make sure that they're staying active while they're working. Sitting too long can cause some stress, back problems, and strain on the eyes from staring at the computer too long. A good time to go up to your move it and unenable it, uncheck the box, is when you're on an activity or your students are on an activity where it's timed or you don't need an interruption. So if your students are in Math Magician and they're being timed for an assessment, you do not want a Move It to pop up and interrupt their assessment. However, when you're on Adogo News and you're just simply sitting and reading and comprehending and comparing, a Move It might be helpful every once in a while. A Move It will pop up and it will give you a direction. Make 10 large circles with your arms so the student is unable to click on any other window until they've completed the move it. So I'll do my 10 large circles with my arms which allows me to get my eyes off the screen and my body moving and then I simply click done and my timer starts over again for the next five minutes. Then the student is able to continue reading their article. Another example of a move it is 10 jumping jacks. I've made sure to let my students know how to do this without being super distracting around the other students. They know to do it simply and quietly without distracting the other readers and then get right back to work. I hope you enjoyed move it. Please visit my blog fairwindsteaching.com to enjoy other tech tips for your students. Thank you. Have a great day.